hello amazing people welcome back to my channel for those that just joined the family thank you so much for being here i truly appreciate you all and for my ogs thank you so much for coming back to watch my video like you guys are amazing thank you so much i truly appreciate each one of you and if today is your first time you are highly welcome my name is macy i'm a nigeria mommy of five living here in germany with my family i do lifestyle vlog okay i do hair beauty and all that okay if something that you are interested in please consider to subscribe like this video okay and turn on the post notification so today's video is most frequent ask question both here on youtube as well as outside the youtube like people do ask me like every time Macy, how are you surviving how are you managing your home as a mommy of five here in germany without no help so today i'm going to be giving you like tip trick whatever you want to call it things that will be helping me to cope to survive to manage my home because i'm still in the process i'm still learning okay so these tips are going to be helping mommies not only those that are living in abroad it doesn't matter where you are living since you're, you're your mom you have kids you know and you are managing your home all by yourself without no help i believe that after this video you're going to take one thing or the other stay tuned and let's dive into the video I'm gonna make it to morning. welcome back guys number one tip i'm going to be giving you guys is that i realized that it had been helpful for me in this process of managing my home with five kids without no help number one it's god like sometimes i don't know where the strength is coming from sometimes after i'm done doing some certain things i'll be asking myself miss are you the one that did all this all by yourself without no help so i will tell you guys like god has been so so faithful in my life and that of my family the next tip that are helping me to manage my home very well is cleaning regularly like clean as you go in the sense that if you are cooking in the kitchen just be washing your dishes it's cleaning your kitchen as you are cooking don't just you know leave it there so that it will pile up at the end of the day to be overwhelmed okay clean regularly even when you are in bathroom you are brushing your teeth after brushing your make sure that you clean it very well after you are done taking your bath make sure that you clean your bathroom as well so that at the end of the day when you want to clean like thoroughly cleaning it will be very very easy for you because everywhere is already clean you don't have too much to do so this has been helping us here in the house because if you leave everything that may be at the end of the day this is time i'm going to do it you are going to be like overwhelmed like overwhelmed so clean as you go okay moving on number two is batch cooking batch shopping like this gonna save your life like seriously i don't know sometimes people say ah they normally eat like fresh food like every day i give it to you guys but one thing that will be helping me honestly is badge cooking badge cooking definitely going to save your time going to save your money in the sense that for the electricity something that you'll be cooking like every time you know that is the electricity you are consuming so it's a lot of money so as well as you're going to save you a lot of time as well and you're going to make you to relax so if you do like weekends weekends you do like badge cooking you cook your stew like in a large quantity you cook soup like different types of even if it's two types of soup that you cook on that weekend then at the end of the day you put it in your freezer this is gonna serve you even if it's one week two weeks is something if, if you are the type your husband love fresh food like every day mm, i give it to you i hope your husband will be helping you as well in the kitchen as well as bad shopping okay whatever you want to buy buy it like plenty and store it things that you know that are going to last like very long that is not going to expire make sure that you buy it in a large quantity so that you're going to save you a lot of time as well as a lot of money because if you are going to shopping like every day my god and now things are expensive batch cooking batch shopping gonna save your life yes so this is another thing that will be helping me here in the house so moving on the next one is teamwork having a support system like this is the most important one for me like i involve my kids my husband in whatever that i'm doing here in the house especially my kids because my husband is always busy for work and business so but wherever he is around he normally help me here and there okay so i normally involve my kids in harsh choice like especially saturday everyone knows that you're going to do this you're going to do that they are going to be the one cleaning their rooms when they come down they're going to help me in the kitchen outside when i'm cleaning they are there to help like i'm always involved them in harsh choice and it's really really helping me out i wonder how i'm going to be doing 
all those things you know everything here in the house without no help that i'm going to go crazy like i'm going to go crazy so my kids are so so helpful like oh my god god bless them they're so so helpful especially my first child she is so so helpful like to be honest so my kids like their room they're cleaning themselves so i can only go there to supervise to see what is going on there without them i don't know what i would have done here in abroad involve your kids even from four years you can ask your kids to do the do that you know clean their room if you go there to supervise and you know that they, they are not doing it but make sure at least they tried okay at the end of the day just you can finish it up make sure that they are tried so that at the end of the day there is some stage if you do not start it you know when they are small i don't i wonder how they're going to cope you know like if your kids are not doing anything in the house so when they are like 10 or 12 you start telling them to do that it's going to be very very difficult so start it when they are just like little so they're going to be used to it okay so teamwork and having a support system very important you know tip that are helping me here in the house so involve your kids involve your husband in the house choice so that the load will be so so light for you so moving on the next one is dividing the work dividing the house if you are the one that have like a big house just like my it's not like my house is too too big because people normally say messy can't you just you know call somebody to come to your house to clean like once in a week and all that but i said that but i have my children and my husband do help me so why should i be you know you know paying somebody to come and do it i know they have like good intention but being a stay-at-home mom for now i think me doing it is not a big deal okay except when i start working then i will know whether i'm going to employ someone to come and do it like once or two times in a week for me so what i do is to divide my house into two if i said let me do it like at once in a day definitely i'm going to break down so what i do is to divide the house i choose like a, a day to clean down i clean the sitting room the visitor's room the toilet the visitor's toilet kitchen after then, the next day, what I do is to clean up, clean my room, my children's room, my boys' room, as well as then I'll go and supervise, you know, my girls, what they are doing. If their room are clean, then I'm going to help them to clean. So this is what has been helping me. If you know that you have like, a, your house is a little bit big, make sure that you divide it. Don't do it like the same day. You're going to break down. So dividing the house is, is really helping me, you know, making things very, very easy for me. Divide it. Do the one that you can do. Then leave the one the next day you continue where you stopped yeah so the next one is guys you know that i have five kids so there is no way you can come to my house every time and it will be sparkling this is me before like <laughs> anything i see in the floor i will ask my kids oh yeah pick it and when they when they are playing i'll be saying eh, this place is kind of you know rough the, the toys are everywhere please pick and pick before i normally have headache because of that even if i clip if i come back like everywhere is kind of scattered again so what i do now is like overlook mm -hmm. You're going to, if you don't know this, like you're going to adopt it. Before, people normally say this. I say, how can I be like in a place where kids are scattering like everywhere, the toys are everywhere. I cannot even have, like, I'm going to go crazy. But now, guys, I'm learning how to overlook. Like, if I'm, if I go to their rooms and I know that, like, they scatter the toys like everywhere, I'll just, you know, quietly come down and, and go and stay on my own, like, stay on my own. If it's time for them to clean, then I have to tell them to clean. But not every time clean clean even when they are playing i'll be disturbing them to clean 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 and sometimes in the kitchen when i finish cooking and if maybe i do like a batch cooking and i i lost strength like i don't have any strength anymore what i do is to overlook like i will just leave some dishes there the one that i cannot be able to wash that day so the next day i will continue where i stop so if it's before i will make sure that i clean everywhere everywhere will be sparkling even when my kids scatter everywhere i'll just leave them at the end of the like in the night like this i'll just go and clean everywhere before they wake up everywhere is clean so overlook some certain things guys don't say mm, this place is going to be clean today you're going to break down like you're going to break down so overlook sometimes the next day just continue where you stop okay you're gonna help you as well your mental health is very very important so the next one again as a mommy of five like sometimes i need my free time you know so what i do is that when i know that my head is full and i will tell my husband because if my head is full everybody knows in this house so nobody's gonna have peace <laughs> so what i do is that when i know that okay 
<laughs> like it's too much for me. So what I do, I will tell my husband that I just want to take a walk. I just want to, you know, free some of things in my head. I you know I just need my own time. So what I do, I will just leave the kids with my husband. If it's a walk I want to take, I will take. If it's a friend that I want to go and visit, I'll go and visit. If it's a party that I want to go with my friends, I will gladly do that in order to, you know, remove some stress on my head. So me time is very, very important for mommies. Okay. Don't say because of you have kids they want to kill yourself if you die who's gonna take care of those kids so having mommy's time meeting with friends you know party so that you can clear your head is very very important okay yeah do it like even if it's a once in a month two times in a, a month no how any how you want to do it just do it so that you're gonna you know clear your head relieve those stress and then gather more strength in order to manage your home like very well like some people say ah, how can i have a kiss and i'll be going party or meeting friends guys like you need it ladies you need it okay don't kill yourself because of family because if you die no one gonna take care of your family our kids are there you know to make us happy but sometimes you need that me self time okay you need that time to you know gather some strength relieve those stress party with friends communicate take a workshop whatever you know that you can do to make yourself happy do it so at the end of the day everyone will be cool in the house because if your head is full trust me you're going to be like things are not going to be going like very well in the house okay because when you are stressed or everyone around you is stressed already in some situation that you're supposed to talk like normal because of stress you start shouting or you start talking like you know something else because you know go come and kill yourself if you kill yourself no one gonna manage your home the way you're supposed to manage it okay yeah so guys this is the things that are be helping me because i'm still in the process i'm still learning from people as well so if you have any other tip that you want to add please do wait to drop it in the comment section so that we can learn as well so thank you so much i hope you find this video helpful and if today is your first time don't forget to subscribe okay like and turn on the post notification so that anytime I upload a new video, you'll be the first person to be notified. And I will leave you guys to in my next video. Bye for now, guys. Bye.